Hey guys, how's it going? So I just picked this up off the curb earlier today. It's a weed eater blower vac. I don't know anything about it other than it's pretty dirty. So we'll see if we can't get this one running. So I'm gonna take that air filter cover off and go from there. All right, so I got the air cover off. Uh, we'll try to turn this over as is, see where we're at. So that's full choke, full speed. The primer does not return. All right, not starting. Let's try some carb cleaner. move on all right so we're inside on the bench let's get this cover off and take a look at what we got behind here Well, that would be why the primer didn't return, and there's absolutely no lines connected. It's like a Walbro WA229. Everything's really gummy, too. All right, so we're going to have to take this like this whole side off. It goes through the case, so. Yeah, all these screws have to come out. Let me bring you back when I do that. Okay, I got this torn down enough uh, that I can remove the cover. It looks like you have to remove the opposite side as the carburetor. And there's screws here, 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 two here. There was two to remove the cover for the exhaust. There were two hidden behind the exhaust cover. And then you had to remove, you're gonna have to remove the muffler because it overhangs here. And I'll show you. It overhangs the cover. So you should be able to just lift this off. I definitely don't make it easy. So this should just come out. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we should be able to put new lines in there and route them up through that hole. Yeah, look at these are just crumbling. Okay, let me get my lines out. All right, let's see what we got in here. Looks like all the lines are broken apart. So we'll have to get all this crap out of there. All 
And it looks like it takes a small line and a larger line. Get a pick tool. I'm going to blow this out with compressed air and then we'll put new lines in. All right, I got the tank cleaned out. It's pretty clean. And I found some uh, fuel line. I got a larger diameter and a smaller one. Usually the smaller one is the feed into the carburetor and the big one is the return. So we'll start with the smaller one. keep feeding that in there until we can pull it through with needle nose pliers from the the fill opening might take a while on this one See if we can grab it. You can kind of see it in there. I'm going to cut the bevel off that I put in to make it easier to feed in there. I don't have a replacement one of these. I cleaned it up. And we'll just reuse it. I got that well over the barb, so we should be good there. I'm gonna push a little bit farther in because it needs to be laying on the on the bottom of the gas tank. Kind of like that. Okay, I'm gonna leave that long until I get that through there, and we can cut it short when we get the car back on. Uh, let's do the bigger line now. Hopefully that's not too big. That's going in. Okay. Grab that guy. Cut the bevel off. Usually these return lines have like a little nipple on them in the factory. I like to put them back on. Some people don't. So I'll put that back on. I pull it back through. And 
until the nipple's pretty much right up at on the underside of this. All right, that's it for the lines. All right, so we need to feed these lines through this hole here. It's gonna be a little difficult, so. Well, maybe not. It's a little bit easier if you have an extra length like I have here. coming out the other side and be ready for when we go through the carb. So I'm going to put this back together, put in all those screws, and then we'll work on the carb on the other side. All right, now everything's back together on this one side. Got all the screws in. The tricky part was the spring on the back here. You kind of have to get a flat head screwdriver in there and pry it over the lip that's in here, right here do something like that to get it to snap back in so you have that uh, the spring action so we're all set to go through the carb on this side lines are run um, let's look at the carb all right let's open this thing up we know we need a primer bulb I think I got a couple of those spare trying to see if it needs a kit or not. Wow, it's really oily. It's probably left over from when they stored it and all the gas evaporated out of the two-stroke fuel. So there's just oil left. Let's get these bits of fuel line off. There we go. So it doesn't look that bad. Let's get that piece of primer bulb out of the idle screw. There we go. There's not much dirt in there, it's just oily. Bet you I can get that to perch through. see if this bulb I have will fit. I think it will. It might be a little snug. Yeah, I think it'll go. It's all oily, getting sucked up in there. We're just gonna run it. We're gonna see what happens. Let's check the metering side.
Not terrible. A little crunchy. Check to see if the. Yeah, that's good too. No adjustment needed there. Well, why not try? Let's just try it. Maybe we can adjust it out. install it all right back to the blower we got uh, the carb install so this is the linkage to the choke here or this oh, I guess speed uh, I'm just gonna put these mounting screws in temporarily to align it so I can cut I can cut those fuel lines to the right length because I won't be able to do it with the air filter box in the way. So push that up against there. The little guy was in the bottom. And the big guy goes to the top. So let's just cut it here. Big guy. Let's cut that about there. Okay. Let's take these back out. Let's hook up our linkage. gasket for that carb actually has two pins that that key into the plastic there so it'll kind of hold it there for you let's get the kill switch plugged back in
All right, I think we're ready to test it. This was the fuel that came out of it. It's not terrible, but I don't know what it is, so I'm gonna put fresh stuff in there for the test. So, it takes 40 to one. All right, moment of truth. I filled it up with 40 to one. I hear it priming. Let's see what we got. Ooh, okay. I think it's got to burn off all that oil that was everywhere. So I'm going to run it on full blast for a little bit and see what, see if it clears up. I'll be back. All right, so I had this thing running for about 10 minutes. I wanted to try to have the fuel loosen up the diaphragm a little bit and see if we can get a, a good idle out of it. Uh, if not, we'll have to go through the carb again, but um, I guess we'll see see what we get here. Yeah, that's about what I thought. So we'll have to go through the carb. It does have a limiting cap on the adjuster screw, and I did mess with that a little bit, but um, there wasn't much change in it. All right, so it's the next day here, and um, I wanted to mess with this a little bit more before putting a, a kit in it. So what I did was there is this limiting cap on the adjustment screw there. I just pulled that off. It's blind in there to fit on that splined screw. And all I did is, is pull that off and I was able to get a little bit more adjustment out of the screw itself. So I'm gonna adjust this a little bit better um, off camera and then uh, bring you back. So I got it tuned. I put the air filter and cover back on and uh, it's actually run pretty good. Let me show you.
All right, so that pretty much wraps this one up. Um, I'll get it cleaned up and off to uh, someone else. Thanks for watching.